Good afternoon. It is Friday, August 24th, 2012. This is Jason Horak reporting on the Dodge Daytona electric vehicle. Specifically, what we're looking at today is the front battery box. And as you can see, we've made quite a few changes to it. Um, this box originally held 23 of the China Aviation Lithium Battery Company SE cells, uh, the 180 amp hour variety. Um, so basically what we've done is extended out this top left corner um, up in here so we can put in an extra three cells. Uh, so we're going to have 26 of the batteries up here and basically they're going to go around in a row just like that and then there's going to be two rows like this and then the rest will be across the top like that. And so uh, basically a whole lot of work for three lousy batteries <laughs> but uh, you know we need as many in here as we can fit I needed as much weight up front as I can get um, and you know it, it just makes it more straightforward to have as many batteries as you can in the same box uh, rather than having like a small box off to the side and you know run wires in between them and so forth um, we should be able to strap all these guys up in a relatively clean fashion and um, you know honestly this is what people see when they pop when they pop the hood they see the batteries in this box so it needed to look as good as I could make it and um, yeah that's kinda where we're at so um, just do a quick walk around here of the battery box and uh, so we were looking at it from the front. This is now from the left or the passenger side. This would be from inside the car looking forward. Um, and then this would be from the driver's side. Um, so this cutout right here is where the uh, transmission lives. <laughs> and this is why the box has that big cutout is because the transmission sticks up higher than uh, the motor and everything else and that's where I have my high voltage wiring shelf uh, bolted down. Um, so anyway, um, just a quick overview of how these boxes are constructed is that um, we'll go ahead and turn this up on its side so you can see. Uh, it's not terribly heavy, it is all aluminum and um, basically the whole box is constructed out of these um, angle aluminum pieces and uh, they, I believe they're one and a half inches by one and a half inches by uh, an eighth of an inch thick. Um, so they're, they're actually pretty very you know, strong and um, the way that the structure of the box, you know, how it's so strong is that we've got one of these aluminum pieces that goes in here and then one that comes out this side and one that comes out this side and they're bolted together with these three bolts um, and so it, it forms a very precise or relatively precise uh, 90 degree angle in each of the directions and makes the corner of the box very strong um, so anyway uh, this particular box I think is more than capable, it's probably uh, a little over-engineered as far as from a strength standpoint for the amount of weight that the batteries take up, but um, anyway, um, that's kind of what, what that's all about. Um, now inside of that is the, um, the actual... Good afternoon, Jason speaking. Hello there. It's going pretty well. All right, sorry about that. I got a phone call from the machine shop. Um, just letting me know that the measurements are done on the taper lock coupler and the transmission adapter from the motor to transmission. So that's pretty cool. I'll be going over and picking that up tomorrow morning, um, and then I can get my motor mounted back in the car. So that's very good news. Um, anyway, just uh, to finish up on the battery box topic here, um, so all of the structural members of it is based on those um, these angle pieces, and then we've got some just straight flat pieces that kind of connect things together just to give it a little extra support. Um, they're not necessarily you know load bearing or anything, but they uh, just kind of help stiffen things up. Uh, and then we've got the the side walls of the box uh, is actually this really hardy, uh, again it's aluminum, it's uh, 6061 aluminum, 
and uh, in fact it says right there, 5061 T6, uh, which I believe is like a construction grade uh, aluminum. Uh, so it's very strong, and um, so I think it's sixteenth of an inch, um, you know, as opposed to the eighth of an inch there, so that kind of works. But uh, so it's it's very strong in its own right, and really all I'm using it for is to hold in the battery so they kind of press against the box, or you know, against this metal um, within the foam insulation. So it's not terribly important that that be um, super strong, but it just adds to the overall strength of the box and makes it even more hardy. So again, I'm thinking that these boxes are perhaps a little bit too heavy uh, for what they need to be doing, but it's as much as I can do without any kind of welding or, um, you know, fancy machinery. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, you're looking at my, this is my machine shop, <laughs> which is a table saw on my back patio. And that's it. Um, those boxes were what the batteries came in, and they make a nice little uh, bench for doing work on. So, <laughs> uh, that's, that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, the foam insulation in, and that is just uh, just for reference. That's this you know blue foam stuff like you'd have inside of your house. It's uh, very light, but um, I use about uh, the half inch variety, um, which just gives enough cushion and uh, you know a little bit of an insulation factor uh, to the batteries. And then on the top, you can see I've got a strip of Gorilla Tape, just black Gorilla Tape, that uh, kind of gives the edge that you see above the battery line uh, kind of a nice finished look, and you don't see the blue of the, of the, uh, the foam. But um, and it also helps the foam, uh, you know, it holds up against the batteries going in and out, and uh, you know keeps keeps them the foam from getting all chewed up. So. Anyway, that's the battery box, and we're going to go ahead and get the foam in, and I'll show you what that's like. And uh, here's what the battery box looks like with all of the blue foam insulation inside. Um, so, as you can see, I put the uh, blue foam insulation on the bottom and on the sides. Um, that will cushion the batteries and uh, make sure that they're they have just a little bit of insulation in the wintertime. Um, if we put another piece of this in... Uh, blue foam on top, um, and then toss the cover on. Uh, it will, you know, re result in uh, kind of a <laughs> thermal pocket, if you will, of uh, it'll keep the the heat roughly the same for all the cells. Um, you know, regardless of how cold it gets outside. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter to me whether it the batteries are uh, kept warm to a specific temperature. Um, more that they're just warm, warm, a little bit warmer than ambient uh, is all we really need um, for decent performance even in the winter time. So, and when it's negative 10 out, if it stays, you know, even zero degrees in the battery box, that would be an improvement. So, anyway, um, so there you go. There's the battery box from all sides, and um, you know, it'll be uh, you know, mountable right in the car and. Uh, this is kind of looking at it from the front, um, and so we'll get some batteries in here and uh, get it mounted in the car and be good to go. So anyway, that's all I have for today, so take care and have a good one.